Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Haris Khan. Today in this lecture, we are going to learn about the Replit and how can we create ape in Replit. So let's get started. Let's first introduce the Replit as an get development environment but online. You can access from anywhere, even from your mobile, you can go. So if we look at the definition like Replit is an AI powered software development and uh, deployment platform for building, sharing, and shipping software fast. So it is the easiest way to code your app, to deploy your app, and to access your code and app from anywhere. So let's get started and dive into it and create a project and to see how it's work and how can we create a project in this. So I am already logged in. You just to uh, log into this by clicking on login with the Google or by a sign up process. So once you uh, navigate it to your home page, uh, you would see uh, your project and everything if you had. Starting like it's allow us to create a three uh, project for free. So uh, to a project we call a Ripple. Like for example, create a Ripple mean to create a project. So I have to click on create a Ripple. After clicking on create a Ripple, I have option select the template for my project like for example if i'm uh, doing my project in the plask i would select plask and if in python i would select python or html css node.js that's totally depend upon me but nowadays most people use it for python but it can be used for any of the other language and frameworks as well so let me click on python so after clicking, uh, after selecting the template, I have to give a name to my Python application. For example, I give it a name Langchain App. Langchain, you know, the framework of Python, which is specially designed for, uh, which provide you the easy way uh, to create the chain board using the LLM. So let me click on the you can also click here, so select the public and unpublic from here, but public is uh, good for now. Let me create on the, click on the create REPL. So my REPL will be created in a few seconds. Yeah, as you can see. So I have to, uh, you know, write a hello world here and just I have to print and you would see that the hello world would be displayed. So let's just uh, print hello world. Yeah, uh, let's, sorry. Let's hello link chain. Let's start this. Now we have to just click on the run and we would see our console here, our shell here. And other stuffs are present here. So you can see hello link chain. It's mean we have successfully set up and created the app. There is no setup required to be honest. Just you have to create the app, select the template, and that's all things. If you want to create any other folder here, you can just click on the new file. And for the folder, you can click on folder. For example, I am creating a folder with the name static file. For example, so this is my folder. Inside this, I can create a file. So this is the very easy thing, like you can explore the other tools uh, here. Like you can use the deployment option for the prompt, like for the shell, you have this shell, you can do anything. For example, you wanna install some dependency like pip install something. So you can type over here. So this is the very easiest way uh, to use this IDE. The biggest benefit is that you can even code while traveling on your mobile. So hope you would learn that how can we create a project uh, on tablet. So we'll meet in the next lecture and we'll learn more about the AI tools and technologies and many more. That's a lot of this.